Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Bragg Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hey. Sorry, my ears are still ringing from that clap sync. <laughs> Behind the scenes coverage here in Cowboy wow. for Game. That was one of the quieter wow. ones too. <laughs> that one gave me a ring. <laughs> oh really? Damn. You put a ring on it. Oh, right in my ear. You know what they say, in the ear doesn't count. How was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Brag. Uh, I didn't touch Master Jewel too much. Just trying to run the numbers. Look, Pokemon Pocket really has eaten into a lot of my life. I just don't get it. It's no. Rush Tools, but Pokemon. But not Rush Tools. Yeah, but the goal of the game is just to open packs, seemingly. Everyone only cares about opening packs. Yeah, there's uh, battles, though. There is battles. Okay. And I like and I like the matter in it too. It reminds me of the Game Boy game. Is uh, it single player? No, no, you can do. You, this okay. One. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there's a plan for ranking and ladder and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, sure. Look, can it's not a thing that doesn't like have to have a meta. We can just go in there and like people can just fuck around. Just wait until we get to the Beyblade meta. I I don't want we're, to. We're gonna cover that later in the podcast. It's yeah. It's vertical. It's vertical. Uh, GUI is good. Like, it's good. It's better than Duel Links, but I still think Master Duel is probably the peak of our card simulators. Yeah. It's well done, Konami. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, well done. Uh, I mean, you did get to watch everyone else fuck up before you made yours, so, you know. Yeah, they had years of lead-in. Uh, and then, yeah, I skipped OTS today, which I imagine we're about to hear about. Yes. That means much? I don't think, ah, oh, there's no way I was winning it. Also, the map wasn't there, so I don't get that instant gratification. Yeah. I need to make now. Um, how was your week, Ben? Um, so Tuesday, I played Mimigool again. Um, I rebuilt, I rebuilt my, lease, my list. Tweaked it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> He's leasing Mimigools. Yeah, took out the two Mimigool Master because they just weren't needed. Um, did come up at one point today that mm-hmm. I needed more than one Mimigool Master, but it did not matter. Okay. Um, so, yeah, making that tweak helped a lot. Um, I decided to go harder on the Snake Eyes line. Um, by go harder on the Snake Eyes line, I just put a flame version there to give me some recursion. Yeah. Um, it's awful cute to be able to, like, poplar the flame version in your back row after it goes off later on in the next turn. And then later on when you make Zeus, you can Zeus oh, send yeah. the flame version. Flame version triggers, gets your cards back. Um, it really helps to snowball a little bit. Um, ultimately, I... I've been doing alright with the deck. Um, I probably should be playing one more Snake Eyes card to search off Poplar. Um, simply because that whole engine... Like, I've committed a lot into that engine because it gets you two rank ones. Um, it gets you into most of your plays. But it's just... doesn't really do enough um, to justify... Like, I can't say it doesn't do enough. It, like, it does a lot. It starts your entire combos. It's great. But committing so many resources into what then can generate bricks is frustrating. So like today at OTS champs, um, I ended up coming fourth um, when X1. Uh, disappointingly means I don't get my invite because it's not four, top four invites anymore. Mm. Um, that's back to back where I've come third and fourth and not got an invite. This is great. Um, but hey, here we are. It's still um, early days. Yeah, true. But like we've not even got regionals yet. Like well, yeah, no, we just had, had all the regionals. They were yeah. all last weekend when we were at the wedding. Yeah. Were they? There was yeah. three or four regionals last weekend. Oh, I take that back then. So, yeah, that's going to eat into a bit of the schedule. not any attention to events that are happening. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, effectively, I played a lot of Snake Eyes cards. The three Bonfire plus the Ash, Poplar, um, and Oak finally bit me in the ass. Like, I've always bricked on one, but in my loss today in game three, I opened Bonfire, Bonfire, Poplar, and I was like, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, like if really see, I could have stalled for time but I wanted to not stall for time yeah. um, I didn't want to win that way so yeah it's the way we were um, ultimately I, I can't complain Mimigools has been going well will I play it again um, like I'll probably dabble in it every now and then um, but we're probably going to play something new for the next few weeks what it, that is couldn't tell you I genuinely you don't have, know it's good that you have another deck that you can just come back to for a reset now yeah. instead of having to go through and build it and that's kind of the the hill yeah like I'm glad I didn't spend all the money on all the QCRs uh, I just really glad I just bought one master now they'll just turn up um, 
And hopefully they turn up before you play it again. Oh, that's fine. Like, I'm not overly stressed on, on filling out the deck, but yeah. I'll be on to the new thing. What the new thing is? Don't know. We've still got, what, a month before we have a new deck to play. Crossover um, Breakers. Are you going to go in one of those? Uh, I might buy one of them in January. Like, I'll give it a month, figure it out. When I get back from Japan, decide what I'm going to play. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a month of just kind of fucking around. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. How's your week, Jake? My week was all right. Uh, so on Tuesday, I was still playing uh, Terrell and Paleo with some updates. Um, so added uh, what I hoped would be some more consistency cards because the problem I found is that the traps you want in the grave kept being in my hand. So I found an engine to try and get this out of my hand. Um, and I borrowed the Elemental Blast from you. So mm. I had a more impactful target for my transaction rollback. Um, but yeah, the deck just didn't come together. And as much as I would love to continue uh, tweaking and improving the deck, and I have all the time and ability to do so, well, I guess to an extent I have the time and ability, but I just do not want to spend said time yeah. or ability to do so. So yeah. the deck will probably go uh, away for a little bit. Um, as to what I play in the meantime, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, you should both suggest a deck for each other. No. <laughs> nearly got him. Don't nearly got him. You were never nearly getting him. Nearly was just an expression. I'm gonna break out some helmet decks. True Draco coming to a locals near you. Oh Christ. Do you want to lose to Do you want Thunder to Helmet deck? Do you want Your to lose to Lightning deck? Storm harder? What if I don't lose to Hunt Thunder Dragon harder? Or Lightning Storm harder? But, but you will. Nah, it's fine. My back row floats. No, it doesn't. Into pops. <laughs> uh, and then today for the OTS Championship, um, I knew that Tyrell and Paleo was not the way to go, so I brought back uh, an old favourite. Um, it's weird saying old favourite as well. Uh, Unchained Finsmith. Um, instead, I had, like, realistically, I didn't change that much from lists, the list prior. The only thing I did is change out one engraver for a Lacrima. Um, just helps get the right number of light fiends into the graveyard and makes the plays a bit easier. Mm. Um, the issue I found is that like in the complicated lines where you've not opened all that well, because I'm not playing the deck regularly, uh, I had to do a lot of thinking on the fly. Mm. Uh, and that sometimes ended up in some optimal boards, <laughs> like <laughs> like having to choose between uh, Lacrim and a gate or the rank six is not the ideal position you want to be in. Uh, but that's where I found myself a couple of mm. times. Um, but for the most part it all worked out, um, it just uh, didn't quite end up in the last hurdle. Uh, so uh, ended up losing to Ethan, but then Ethan got his invite, because he came second. So I was robbed. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, fine. Congratulations to you. Yes. Oh, and to Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Harry won. He doesn't get congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> he got well, there on work. <laughs> <laughs> so Ethan gets congratulated because I stumbled my way into a loss. Is that is that what's happening? Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess congratulations to you. Wait, what was Ethan playing? Uh, Labyrinth. Lab. Class. Yeah. Has your bell chooses not to use it. My member goal stood no chance. Yeah, not a great matchup for you. I revealed to him on Tuesday that every time he's conceded to me, he would have won on the next turn. <sighs> hurts. <laughs> hurts. Look, I suppose there's no way to fold them. But like, if you're not familiar with the deck you're versing, sometimes you don't know that. Like, um, I think I've versed Yahweh twice in my entire career, and every time I've versed him, there's been a board state where it's just gone, oh, you just have game here. And I have to like, sit there and figure out what that is, because I'm like, <laughs> I, I didn't see it. <laughs> where is game? Um, yeah, I think. Oh, and then a uh, little bit of Master Duel, um, I think the yeah the festival is over. Um, I realised too late because I was like, oh, I don't want to craft a link deck. Blah 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 blah. I realised way too late. I could have just played Mac Dots. Well, Shocking. Bad. No. Gasp. I even because I had a lot of. Uh, this is not something I recommend, by the way. Just preface this uh, because I noticed. Just tell you to cheat. Hmm? No, I, how can you cheat on Master Duel? I don't have programming ability to do that. 
I believe the way people used to complain about this in high school was my opponent has a toggle switch. They toggle the lag. No, it's nothing to do with the gameplay. Okay. But what I'm not recommending for anybody else to do, but it's something I did, I noticed I had a lot of uh, super crafting tokens. And I noticed that Mech Knight Blue Sky and Purple Nightfall are both supers. So I went a bit crazy and started crafting them until oh, I got royals. Yep, yep. Um, I yep. got one royal of each. And I think two shiny, uh, glossy uh, purples. Was it worth it? Uh, I mean, it depends on what rarities the decks coming out will be and whether I then no longer have enough to craft said decks. So we'll what find deck out. do you want to craft? Well, I don't know. I don't know when other decks are coming out. I mean, Fiendsmith will be coming out soonish. Wait, we get it. It seems like they're getting weirdly close, but at the same time, no, because Fiendsmith came out fucking four months ago. Yeah, and the other thing is too, because like random other archetypes weren't put in at certain times, like some stuff will be really far ahead, but then you're just like, Where's it's this? been like five, six months. We're, we're this. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, is that worth not going to Master Duel? Yes. Speaking of Master Duel... So it's the Shining Sark. It, was it in Infinite Forbidden? Am I going to Mental? Or was it the set before? Set before. Oh, okay. So, yeah, right. Legacy so, of Destruction. All right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll call But yeah, we had the Light Swarm stuff already. So yeah. it should be there, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. Yet. Do we know how much we're getting? Or is it just because they changed the logo? Uh... Mm. I mean, you'd assume that uh, he's going to be in there because of the logo change, which I think was on iOS. Oh, that's why I don't have it. Like, I saw everyone posting about it. I'm like, is this fake news? Am I getting... No, I, I got the thumbnail change. Oh, no, there, he's oh, no, there, there now. You there he is. What a cool-looking so, yeah, DM. Shining Sark uh, with the second run uh, coming soon to Master Ball, and yeah. you'd assume very soon if they're already yeah, updating already graphics. The, yeah. Um... But then also in Master Duel, uh, we had a new solo gate added, uh, which is a continuation of the world, no, what's it called? Terminal World Lore, the mm -hmm. first run. Yep. Uh, so it's yet another Gen X uh, run. Yeah. It is the most mind-numbing fucking thing Damn. I've had to do. Had to do is just not the right word. Where's uh, X Saber? We need more X Saber. But X Saber's done. I want more X Sabers. There's not going to be more X Sabers. They have to write more X Sabers. Yeah, yeah they have to which create they honestly more. should. X Sabers. They just great. have to make up random journeys that they've been on. Yeah. <laughs> and one time, Gotham's went to the shops. Yeah. <laughs> and then just... the other time, Hunley went to Isengard. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and not a lot of um, stuff to go into for this. It's like two different icons and a new icon surround. None of them particularly amazing. But again, at the end of it, 200 gems on offer. So if you want to bump up your gem count, it's there. Uh, I really, really, really want them to move on. None of them will replace cherry blossoms. You can give me all the frames in the world. I don't know. When you... What was it? The uh, Corby. Corby was close. Oh. The autumn one looks quite good too. The maple leaf one. Oh, that one looks quite good. Yeah. We ain't no Canadians I'm, here. Yeah, I'm not a. Yeah, I'm not a fall guy. Uh, but then also in Master we had a bit of a uh, quality of life update. Uh, so uh, quickly, um, just trying to work mass out. crafting. So now infinitely will craft until you hit the raw rare. Does it do that? No, I don't know. I saw a fucking thing saying that, and I was like, yeah, sure. So, like, now you can set it to, like, constantly craft oh, a normal on. until... Additional... Addition of boost generate mode features boost generate, which is a desired finish option. You can set a limit on how many crafting points to spend and the desired finish. Uh, the generation will continue. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so it is very much that. You can literally just press a button and it will keep doing it until you hit the rarity of card It will give you a reason to burn all of those normal and rare fucking chips. Except I don't think NLRs can be uh, anything above a glossy. I thought you can get royals in those, can you not? I don't think so. I think it's only That's supers and up the royal. I suddenly care a lot less. Uh, you have the ability to uh, designate cards as don't dismantle. So if it's like a random card for some reason uh, that you feel one day you're just going to randomly misclick. Just no. Uh, you can designate it to not dismantle it, which is... I feel I, not necessary, yeah, but I, nice. I think necessary. I think I've done it before. 
I was hitting, um, the, wrong, I I was hitting the right button, I was hitting the wrong button. Sometimes the mouse cursor just does what it wants when you're getting t- uh, toggled. Yeah. So, one of the ones that I really appreciate... Yeah, no, I couldn't give a fuck. Um, so, um, one of the ones I really appreciate is with the replays. Uh, so, if you are at your maximum number of saved replays and you attempt to save another one, it used to just say, no, you can't. Yeah. Now it says, would you like to delete an old one? So yeah. you can get rid of ones uh, that you that feel like you don't need anymore. Which you should have just screen recorded by now and deleted yeah probably um and then similarly you can also designate some uh recordings to not be deleted similar to the cards Ah. just in case you get a bit trigger happy um and then a replay tagging feature um really selecting details Uh, i don't know what details you can select um but apparently you can tag them um you can add the three main cards to the replay to show you sort of what the highlights were maybe to give you an insight as to what was particularly impactful in that game uh sp 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 you can see who won the coin cost is that coin cost <laughs> coin you want to have a second toss. shot at that coin horse yes I would. A spell. yes i would like to activate that card okay uh you get a option well not even an option you just get a thing telling you who won the coin toss at the beginning not that it wouldn't be immediately apparent by someone playing a card and someone not playing a card Mm. but sure um and we get an ability to increase the number of replays that we can save oh cool Uh, apparently there's a uh thing that you have to do to get it it's like a task yep but uh, apparently it's a thing it'd be nice if you could just buy extra slots i guess well it, it, it's surely it can't be taking that much server space that they need to buy, but still the task seems weird. But it might like a survey. But it, de- it depends on how big the task is. If it's literally save a replay and then by doing so you get X amount more replays, then sure. Mm. Jay, you're talking about the worst quality of life updates that Yu-Gi-Oh released this week. The other quality of life updates are the best ones. The quality of life updates to fucking Neuron. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I wasn't aware of this. Now in Neuron, you can change your life point setup to either being from OG Yu-Gi-Oh. You can set it to being... Uh, oh, these years. are the graphic changes. Yeah, or you yeah, can change okay. it to... Yeah, because I saw that on Kurtz today. He had it like classic Pharaoh style. Yes. And I was like, ooh, okay. You can, yeah, you can also do... So there's the GX one, but it's not really the GX fucking like size scales. And then you've got 5Ds. Uh, okay. So you can um, go fast. You can now also design combos in your deck screen. So you can... You know yeah. the old style... Uh, remember when Sound Angry released and there was those spreadsheets that were like, one gazelle does this, 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 this. And that's going to be a token, yeah. Yeah, now you can do that inside of Neuron. So you can be like, this one card gets you this, which then can get you this, which then does this. Okay. Um, but to what end? Well, it's just... You to can help this your brain. Combos. So you can save so your just save mapping your out combos. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And you can search other people's combos. Yeah, you can also do that. Oh my yeah, god, here okay. we go. What does tour that, guide end in? See, this is what I was getting at. Like, it was all well and good sharing, like, saving your own combo line, but can you share it? And apparently you can. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now, yeah. combos. Yeah, tour guide gets you, uh, the floor is peak. That's kind of cool. Whoever did this. Um, just wondering, though, um, I don't know whether this would happen, but can someone put in a combo that doesn't work or is illegal? Like, can they just, like, put in mapping? I think, I think you can. I think you can okay. just drag and drop. No be... scrap combos uploaded. Oh, Guess no one's done scrap tonight. combos. Uh, Guess what I'm... Brag will be back in five Look, hours. That's actually so disheartening. Out. I thought I wouldn't be the only one. I thought in the thousands and thousands of duelists out there, there'll be at least one other cook cunt. No. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, and then a random one, which sort of points to stuff that's going to be coming along later on. They've uh, updated the text of Clear World. Uh, to be more in line with how they want it to work. More in line uh, with the English so, language. So, in other words, the earth, water, and fire effects no longer start a chain. Uh, and the earth effect no longer targets either. Uh, so, yeah, that's something. The Clear World support, A, looked pretty good. I didn't mind it. B, I don't know when it's coming, but I'm looking forward to it. C, I swear, I feel like we announced it like nine months ago and we just have never I seen it. I don't think it, it was that. Oh, no like, it could have been released and I wouldn't have noticed. Here we go. No, it hasn't been released. Ah, uh, August. Uh, you need a jack, a jackalope, imperm, called by imperm and a skeleton. Ends in jackalope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, that's... What have they done? <laughs> they made it better. Surely it can end in better. Surely, I have you're to believe. Putting, you're putting it's like the imperm. Copy. And you just get to summon that. But then you summon the skeleton you and you make oh, no, your own tail. Your opponent three. snipes the skeleton and you just summon the jackalope. Thank you, Fire for Yu Gi Oh, for teaching me this combo. Okay, so the UK now okay. is 2019, round three. All right. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, right, okay, right, yeah. Right, right. We go back. I'm... Oh, I know why now. Yeah. Does anyone else remember why? He jackaloped, uh, they sniped the skeleton, so yep. he summoned jackalope, and that's all he had. So jackalope uh, passed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That that's makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it didn't have any context. <laughs> okay. Who did this? Who did this? Does it have a name? Uh, Scrolping. Scrolping on a neuron. Scrolp? Yeah. This, this is an alt of yours? <laughs> I'll never I'm going to design a scrap combo tonight. It's going to be fridge. What an insult. <laughs> <Yeah. Fridge. laughs> no, no, it doesn't end on fridge because you can't get it on the board. <laughs> uh, so the biggest news of the week is the Bonanza. Uh, so through the week we I don't, know, I don't even want to dignify with guns anymore. Well, maybe it's actually. <laughs> I actually quite like it. Well, through the week they it were still. It doesn't have but I quite like it. So through the week they were still dropping their like five cards a day kind of thing. Uh, then a YouTuber. Uh, was That's a stretch. A person who has access to the internet started just opening packs. Um, he seemed like an asshole at the start, so I chose to ignore it. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, I I just pulled, like, from when he started, I was like, I have an insider at Konami that got me this, and I was like, and I'm done. So what we take from this as I'm well done. is Ben has treated all of us very good with your subs uh, rem subscribe notification. You only yes. get it once. Oh, it's nice his and, was so it's, aggressive. It's nice and subtle. It doesn't cover up collector's rare swap frog. Ah, I it's forgot like, about that. He's just a giant it was subscribe. the biggest animation I've ever seen for subscribe that was playing during content. And when, yeah, and yeah, and like, and this is him just flicking through stuff. And so, yeah, it's like, oh, I've seen that he's got it, but I don't know what it looks like. It was so aggressive. It was the worst. Also, from bits and pieces that I've heard slash seen, um, he apparently originally had a deal with Konami, like a um, affiliation type yeah, thing like to open the packs. Though. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? He, that was true. He yes. had more than two boxes, though. Unless he faked another box. But no, we definitely saw more than two boxes. And then they said two boxes. He definitely did some back of the truck stuff. Well, yeah, yeah that, this is why I said it was what I'd heard. We'll see if he gets banned. Hmm? We'll see if he gets banned. It would be nice. We know this person's name, so we can keep an eye on the ban list. No. Why? But anyway, uh, thanks to his efforts, we have uh, all bar two of the cards, seemingly. We now uh, know. Uh, uh, what was the last two? Mm. I don't know what the two were missing one. Wait, wait. There's 280 the cards here. Yeah. It was the last two cards. It might have been updated on Because I'm pretty sure Brian Ack was in the main pool. That was that was missing. There's too many cards to nitpick two cards here, Jim. Yeah, we now know all the cards. Yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do. It was 27 and 28. The, um, went, oh, sorry, 277 and 278. Literally the last two. Um, mm. But anyway, um, I'm just going to try and pick out some noteworthy ones because there are obviously many cards here. There's um, a very diverse amount of reprints. Um, they did choose to reprint some of the worst Dragon Maid cards. Yep. They reprinted Hosp, and I was like, good. They reprinted Lawpire, and I was like, one of? Or they reprinted Kitchen. Uh, no, not fucking Laundry. And I was like, why? People use that in build decks. Yeah. They shouldn't, but they do. But, like, it's shit. I was actually happy they didn't reprint Chamber, though. Yeah, but that's, they that's are nice. going to reprint Chamber whenever we get that the new one. Yes, that is true. Hopefully, they don't put um, that in the QCR. So a bunch Jeez. of Mermal stuff got reprinted as well, which is good because it needed it because yeah. Mermal is becoming quite popular at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, Diva obviously included within that as well. Uh, Luri, um, all of the uh, Dragon Rulers, yep, including the babies. I think the babies are in the vintage set. And the rule main rules are in the main set, or it could be the other way around. 
Yep. And uh, uh, the flag and corridor got reprinted. Bro, I, I made out like a fucking bandit selling cards. That, like, I sold all of my flags, my corridors, my upstart goblins, and it's all in here. So, cool. Nice. Um, some of the shark stuff got reprinted as well. Obviously, the um, D Bell Star stuff, which we already knew about. Mm. Uh, totally awesome getting one as well. Um, some Sky Striker stuff, weirdly. This um, is. This is all going to put a very good, much-needed price cooling onto the market. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, Thrust also got uh, print in here as well. Yes. Summoning Curse, uh, which you've never played. I uh, played in the old builds. You can't play in the new builds because now you're special summoning. Mm. <laughs> First pack he pulled Thrust as well, by the way. Before any before any funny business, so we could see it clearly. Before it went subscribe. Yeah. Um. Uh, retros. Retros. Hmm. Any. Anything from the retro slots you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. uh, Do you want well, to talk I mean, about Smashing Grounds and if you, if Creature you Swap? Like? Send me a Smashing Grounds and Creature Swaps. Send me a Scrap Dragon. No, I was getting myself. Treeborn. Treeborn's good call. More yeah. pretty looking Treeborns was much appreciated. I'll take a non Dusa Treeborn frog. Uh, we knew about Cyber Sign and Instant Fusion Rise. Da, 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 da. Ill Blood is such a waste of a pick. No, there's more waste of the picks. Ill blood is it, ill blood is a bottom twenty five percent, but it is not bottom. Oh yeah, Kuno chain's pretty bad. Well, I mean, Joey is stuff needs support. You do need you do need Kunai if you do play Time Wizard of that format, which yeah. I don't think. We got Mech Chaser though. Yeah. Reprint that I actually wanted. Dandy's good. Blaster's good. Sorry, Fishball Blaster. The uh, predictions for uh, Rarity Collection 4, uh, whatever we want to call that, uh, Pot of Greed. Because they didn't oh, reprint yeah. Pot of Greed here, but they reprinted Graceful. Oh, Graceful got a reprint. Yep, it says Graceful, there's a card of safe return. Another card that did need a reprint. The card that was expansive. Oh, not got a reprint. Sick. QCR Linkage. That would be nice. Why was Linkage in the retro part? I don't know why Linkage was there. Yeah, uh, Brian, yeah so Brian Ack, like all the ne like that Necroz stuff was starting to creep back up Briar, like secret briar is like 50. i was like oh i can almost get my money back <laughs> maybe i should have sold mine before they got reprinted the mini dragon rulers yeah yeah yes we, we covered that yeah yeah which i didn't remember the names but I, like, did, did you not remember? yeah um someone Pebbles. had someone in our facebook comments uh, mentioned it and i've already forgotten lightning stream rectan done that's all the top of the head did you say tango no. There's some Tengu plant stuff in here. Yeah. yeah. Which, real good. Uh, and yeah, vanities as well, in good looking. Mm. Don't have to chase those. Those secret vanities should have been going for way more. And now that problem is sorted. I still have a fucking mountain of supers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The supers are. <laughs> secret forces supers. Oh, yeah. They were, well, hold on. If all the other secret forces stuff was going up, surely those vanities would have been worth a lot. And there's no point checking now. The market is dead. Yes. Speaking of market being dead, yes. uh, it's time for our weekly check-in on the current price of Mulchami for Wireless. Uh, and the current price for Mulchami for Wireless today on Australian eBay, uh, for a copy located in Australia, uh, is $244.50. It's come down a little bit. It's come down <laughs> about 15 bucks. It's not bad. It was 260 last week, yeah? Oh, yeah, true, true, true. true. Yeah, there we go. The week before. It's getting cheaper, guys. If you buy that copy, I'm fairly sure we're up to like 300 <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, viewed in isolation, the price is coming down. Yeah, if... Oh god. Oh, so and it's already gone! Is it gone? Oh, I was just joking. <laughs> uh... Yes, I was just joking. Uh... Now I'm not even going to whinge about that. But yeah, Metamorphosis. Screw you, Jerome. I'll take this personally, and I will buy Retro Pack 4 if you put it into it. Retro Pack. Rarity Collection. But will they even... Yeah. Hard to say. We really are getting courses next year, aren't we? Up, Seems uh, we're gonna... that way. I think we'll probably get them until after the financial year. Soon we'll get thirdsies. Yeah, maybe June. I mean, I wish they'd stop. They've like almost completely annihilated any like value that most people's collection had. And the QCRs seemingly don't even hold their value all that well anyway. No, nah. oh, no, especially from this pack. Until. Oh. If, who, who knows where we are in 10 years though? If this copy of Mulchami sells, there is one other copy on market that is 280. Oh. Then your next closest is to buy a QCR for uh, 760. Dear lord. 
<sighs> There's two copies in Australia and eBay. Do I recommend buying them? No. No. Uh, and then just quickly as well with the Bonanza, we had some alternate arts uh, in there as well. Uh, Bigfoot's cool. Dark Magician from the EX Starter Box. Uh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from the same. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, uh, the Prismatic Art Collection. Uh, Polly from the Quarter Century Legendary Selection and Sky Striker Ace Shizuku from the Selection 5. We also got Danger Bigfoot. We also got Danger Bigfoot. We also got the one for one both arts. We also got... Shizuku. Oh, you said Shizuku? Okay, yeah. I thought you said the other Sky Striker card. Uh, I don't anyway. know if that one's in there. We move. Oh, I'll just say those last two cards are 77 and 78 on those set codes. Yeah. And they're after Jewel Academy and on your market set Jewel, oh. so it's going to be the other two. Yeah. Um, what? What's the... It's not in the... Oh, no, that's... I'm thinking Zexel for that one. I'm trying to think of the Arc 5 one. Arc V, whatever. What about the Yujo Friendship and all that? No, we're never reprinting those cards. Well, we're going to reprint all the other versions. Uh, because if you reprint those cards, it... it goes against uh, the personal space. Mm. I don't think that was the thing anymore. But ah, you can mark. accept the idea of a handshake. You yeah. don't actually have to touch it. I have to fucking introduce that because it fucking creeps. <laughs> Next point. Next news. There's uh, more news? Man, no, that's, we're moving that's, on to that's why, that's why you're dragging that's so why, much. That's why I was padding, yeah. And you're just like, no, move on. Uh, I was thinking talking about legendary rarity, whatever. Yeah, I, I was actively yawning through most of that. Uh, so, we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link is in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, just the three, two, yeah, two this yeah, week. Yeah, it wasn't. No, uh, so, first sure. one, Caleb, uh, should he bet on red or black? Green. Mm. Yeah, green. Yeah, put a stray dollar on game green every so often, and then it should be fine. Bro, I went to the casino the other day. They don't let you do that. They don't let you put a dollar on? No. They, they have... A, they have minimum bets, and the minimum yeah. bets are much higher than a dollar. Well, um, I, I was saying a dollar euphemistically. Um, just put the minimum crown? bet on a dollar. Oh, crowns change their oh. minimum on those shitty... On the digital ones or the actual ones? Oh, the actual ones. On oh, the digital yeah, ones, yeah. put whatever you want on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, on the actual ones now, they, they, uh, they actually try and fuck you. You also can't... Like, certain strategies that you can do to, like, maximise your odds, they just don't allow you to do. Yeah. That's fucking dumb. The house yeah. always So wins. they have minimum bets on each, like, certain numbers to stop you from being able to, like, position so that you have, like, a 75% win chance. That... Uh, yeah, anyway. Just let people fucking gamble. Yeah. Always bet on green. It's got to happen Except eventually. Apparently. Because it'll cost you too much and your odds will be worse. Yes. Anyway, uh, and then our next and last question this week. Uh, how long have we been recording for? Mm. It's a short one, but sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what We're going to have a good night's sleep. What sort, of, uh, what sort slash style of seating arrangement do you prefer? Do you Who asked like this question? To, uh, this is from 6 Art 6 I'm going to start the question again. What sort slash style of seating arrangement do you prefer? Do you like to be fully supported and erect with perfect posture? Or do you prefer to resemble a meat puddle of comfort? I mean, I think it's been pretty apparent, my seating style on this pod over the years. Yeah, you've had I, your feet up for most of this. I uh, I really just take my feet down. Yeah, I'm Foster splayed. ship. Like, like, obviously in a formal setting, <coughs> I'm going to respect Less. the setting. Yes. Any other setting, uh, I'm just a puddle. Yep. A blob. A blob of comfort. Yes. I find when I'm laying down, though, I probably lay too far of my torso and then my neck is like the thing sitting within the like fold of the chair so then I'm like this it's not good it can't be good especially when I'm in my 30s otherwise I'll wake up like fucking Michael Keaton Batman oh yeah. <laughs> good pull a, ver a pull from someone in their 30s I refer to what I know uh on the YouTube, and we, we, we sorted with this one. On the YouTube, they, I mean, I'm going to condense the uh, the comment into, uh, we need more brag food reviews. Whoa. Interesting. Do we have one to start us off? Oh, do we agree? Uh, if it'll pad this episode out a couple more minutes, sure. <laughs> that bubble and squeak was so shit. I was getting so mad. Bubble? What? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, you still didn't watch it? Oh, God. 
thanks to anyone who did. It was a fun thing to record. We said. Oh, is that sorting? Oh, okay. That makes sense as to why Seb was there. It's British food, and therefore bad. Yeah, you know what that means. British food is bad. I don't. I don't mind the chips. The uh, no, they they call chips or they call them crisps. I don't know. Crisps are like the package. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Crisps. Well, anyway. Yeah, um, I guess that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much. I don't think they want the food reviews. It's not that we don't want it. Yeah, I'm not feeling, the, I'm not the, feeling well, the love. Well, the issue is that the content you created didn't really explain uh, from the thumbnail that it was food related. I just saw that uh, Dragon Master Magia was on the podcast. I don't know. Could have been. It was a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused by the fact that Seb was here, but he wasn't really here. Like, he was just covered by the... Yeah. Yeah, I was like... So people that are in the room actively filming content with you pull second chair to the monster that may or may not have been within the content. Hmm. Well, imagine it was wow. playmat. Dude. Which I think it was the guy's angle. Because, oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's the also the worst thing about his leak video is was the Magia clickbait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And Which, it, and like two he, unconfirmed cards. And you didn't really need to do that. If he's the only one that's been opening product, everyone's going to be clicking on it anyway. Yep. Yes. So just needlessly Thank God we don't baiting. clickbait. No, never. Uh, join us next week okay. when, I don't know, Anne Hathaway's coming? Sure. Uh, that's, <laughs> a, that's a 30-year-old... <laughs> That's a Jake. Hey, that's a Jake. Hey, that's a Jake cut. Hey. Yeah. Well, the Jake loves Princess Bride. No, not Princess Bride. Princess Diaries? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that's a 30 year old reference fucking Princess Diaries. That's fucking inconceivable, hell. Jake. Join us next week when we have the Hawk Tour Girl. <laughs> She's making the rounds. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Goodbye. <laughs>